Given the uncertainty that we managed to create over the weekend over the plan to cancel uh, up to 50 flights a day for the next six weeks is uh, hold a press briefing here this afternoon and then try to deal with, explain the issue and deal with um, any questions people may have. So here's the factual position. We on uh, Friday afternoon took a decision to cancel an average of slightly under 50 flights a day for the next six weeks. We did so that because for the, about the previous eight or nine days, our punctuality had fallen from something uh, of an average of about 90% to under 70% uh, for two reasons. One, we are suffering a lot of ATC and weather delays. Two, while all of our schedules are fully crewed, knock on delays that are arising from uh, air traffic control and our weather delays are knocking into the following day's flights because of crew hours. And we are also a large amount of annual leave to our basically our pilots uh, in blocks of four weeks. No, at the moment we don't interline with any other airlines. We do have a kind of, uh, an arrangement with Air Europa through Madrid. I mean, the, the biggest interlining we do ourselves is through Milan, Bergamo, and Rome, Bumicino. We have many thousands of people connecting through that. We don't think this is going to be an issue that will affect them. And again, without wishing to in any way dim or diminish the scale of the problem, this is less. I doubt it. I'm thinking at this point in time, given our concerns over for Norwegian's financial viability, I think we have brought to an end the discussions with Norwegian. We're focusing now on our discussions with Air Europa and Air Lingus. The, the reaction to the market? The market. Yes, as the largest individual shareholder in Ryanair, I never give a rat's ass about the share price. I couldn't care less. I'm far more concerned about fixing our schedules. Dealing with the passengers who will be disrupted over the next couple of weeks and whatever happens to the share price today, tomorrow or next week, frankly doesn't matter. Yes? I don't think uh, more damage is being done to Ryanair's reputation at the moment since uh, flights for cancelled flights, people being sold for cancelled flights. No, I don't. How do people access the EU 261 uh, compensation arrangements? And they, get it, it's a, they will have a link in the email that's sent to them and they'll get it immediately on the Ryanair. Will you give a commitment? 